Hello, my name's Josh, and welcome to Stock Footage Theater, a show where I try to recreate your favorite movies the best I can using only stock footage. Today, we're watching The Room. The Room is a 2015 Academy Award-winning movie directed by Lenny Abramson, which stars Brie Larson and Jacob Tremblay. It's a beautiful film about a woman and her son re-emerging into the world after being held captive. Wait, what? Oh, that's... Just Room? And we're watching The Room. Oh. Well, okay. <sighs> so, The Room is a movie, I guess? Which was written, directed, produced, and stars Glenn Danzig doppelganger Tommy Wiseau. Or Wiseau. It's widely regarded as one of the worst movies ever made, and yet it attracts large crowds of people at sold-out showings all around the world. It's incoherent, redundant, poorly acted, has the most awkward sex scenes ever filmed, and is just straight up bizarre for the entire running time. This movie is so terrible that I'm a little worried that the stock footage version will look better than the actual movie. So with that being said, here we go! The room opens up in a room. Johnny comes home with his future wife, Lisa, and he gives her a gift, a red dress. She loves the dress and thanks Johnny for it, but it's no problem for Johnny, anything for his princess. Denny, a creepy younger guy, comes in to say hi, but Johnny and Lisa want to go upstairs and have a pillow fight in bed. Denny creeps hard on them and invites himself into their bed. They tell him to scram so they can have sexual intercourse. Denny reluctantly leaves and they get started. The following five minutes is something ripped straight out of a softcore porno. It's pretty awkward and at one point Johnny starts humping Lisa's belly button. Then it just sort of ends eventually and Lisa looks pretty dissatisfied. Later on, Lisa's talking to her mother. She tells her she doesn't love Johnny anymore because he's boring. Her mother says she should marry him because he has money and will take care of her, but she doesn't love him anymore. Plus he's boring. Then Lisa calls Mark, Johnny's best friend. She says she wants to see him, so he comes over and Lisa pours him some wine. Then she starts making out with him, but he says no. Johnny is his best friend and she is his future wife. She keeps trying to seduce him and eventually he gives in. So they start having sexual intercourse. And it's somehow more awkward than the last sex scene that happened less than five minutes ago. They finish up and Mark reminds us that Johnny is his best friend. How could he do this to him? He says they can't keep doing this. And Lisa agrees. So they end the night by making out. Scene ends. Next we see Johnny go to a flower shop to buy roses, but the shop owner doesn't recognize him. She hands him the roses, then he pets a dog. Wait, this scene needs a little bit more attention, because it is one of the most baffling scenes ever filmed by a human. Johnny enters the flower shop. Johnny. Hi. Flower shop owner. Can I help you? Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go, keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye bye <sighs> This movie is exhausting. Johnny comes home and gives Lisa the flowers. He tells Lisa he didn't get the promotion and that everyone at work has betrayed him. Lisa comforts him and tells him that she still loves him. Lisa tries to get him drunk so she can claim later on that he got drunk and beat her. But what actually happens is they get drunk and have sexual intercourse again. This, by the way, is the third sex scene in the movie and it hasn't even hit the 30 minute mark. In the next scene, Lisa is talking to her mom, who mentions that she has breast cancer. Don't worry about it, this is never mentioned again. Lisa tells her that Johnny beat her last night, but her mom says she should still marry him. Lisa decides she doesn't want to talk about it, and her mom leaves. Later on, two random people come into the house and start having sex on the couch. Because why not? That's all that happens in this movie. They get interrupted by Lisa and her mom, so they put their clothes back on and leave. I guess they know Lisa? I sure hope so. Then creepy Denny comes in and asks for some cooking supplies. Lisa's mom then asks why so many people come in and out of here all the time. That's a good question, lady. Anyway, on the rooftop, Denny is playing around, and then some drug dealer named Chris R busts in, asking for the money that Denny owes him. Chris R then pulls a gun out and points it at Denny. Johnny and Mark show up to stop him, and take him to the police. Lisa and her mom are there, they start crying and screaming. Denny admits that he bought drugs, or maybe he sold drugs to Chris R. 
whatever. Johnny comes back in to hold Denny and Lisa, then they go back inside, and we never hear about this again. Later on, Johnny storms up to the roof and is insisting he did not hit Lisa. He did not hit her, it's not true, it's bullshit, he did not hit her, he did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Mark is there, and he and Johnny talk about women and how strange they are. Johnny thinks Mark is an expert with women, but Mark says he isn't, and then he just leaves. Then Creepy Denny comes up to the roof to join Johnny in a game of tossing the football around. In a truly awkward exchange, Denny confesses his love to Lisa, and Johnny tells him not to worry about it. And then they talk about another girl, Elizabeth, that Denny also loves, apparently. Uh, scene ends with them laughing and frolicking back down the stairs. After this, we just continue to get a lot of scenes that are redundant nonsense, so I'm gonna have to speed round some of these. Mark is his best friend. Lisa is Johnny's future wife. Lisa doesn't love Johnny anymore. Lisa says don't worry about it a bunch of times. Johnny overhears that Lisa has a secret. He gets angry and says that she's tearing him apart. Johnny, Johnny and Mark and another friend Peter talk about women. Peter, Peter knows the truth, the so Mark threatens to throw Lisa. Peter off Johnny the roof doesn't love Johnny and make up Johnny and Mark, Mark, Mark and Lisa Mark sleep with each other. Lisa talks with Mark, doesn't love Johnny. Lisa talks with friends, doesn't love Johnny. Lisa talks with mom, doesn't love Johnny. Okay. Next up is Johnny's birthday party. He comes home, everyone yells surprise, and they all toast their drinks and have a good time. Lisa says they should take the party outside, and while everyone goes outside, Lisa tries to make out with Mark, but they get caught by one of their friends. Everyone is urging Lisa to tell Johnny about what's going on, but she ignores them. Later on at the party, Lisa's openly flirting with Mark, which Johnny notices. He and Mark get in a fight, they start pushing each other around, uh, call each other chicken, make chirping noises, uh, stuff happens. Uh, uh, anyway, Johnny says everybody betray him and he's fed up with this world. The party then comes to an end and everybody leaves. Afterwards, Johnny reveals he's been taping Lisa's phone conversations. She storms off and leaves Johnny alone. Johnny then trashes the house, throwing things all over the place, rolling around all over the floor, uh, humps Lisa's red dress that he gave her. Yeah, it's weird. And then he ends it all by putting a gun in his mouth and pulling the trigger. Later on, Lisa, Mark, and Denny find his body. Mark tells Lisa that it's all her fault and tells her to leave him alone. I think his exact words were, as far as I'm concerned, you can drop off this earth. That's a promise. But then they all hold each other and cry together as the police show up. The end. So that's it. That's the room. Yeah. Uh, whew. Please, um, if you've never seen The Room, make sure you see this movie, because I don't think I was able to accurately recreate this movie. It's just seriously one of the most bizarre movies ever created. So, let me know how I did in the comments, um, and if you have any suggestions for other movies that you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments. And, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff, and, uh, yeah. My name's Josh, and thank you for watching Stock Footage Theater.